We are created to be God's image bearers. Through our redemption in Christ, from knowing Jesus, we can do that. Jesus came, he died on the cross, and he lived a perfect life. He was the new Adam, right? So Adam and Eve were the first two humans. They didn't live up to what God called them to. They didn't destroy the image of God. They tainted it through their actions. But Jesus fulfilled that. Jesus came so that we can know God, and then we can have a relationship with him, and then we can bear his image. And it's so cool because we know this because of the Bible. God preserved this amazing, amazing book with so much in it for us. So that we can know how, how, how do we, Dana, how do we bear the image of God? Go to the New Testament and read all about the way Jesus lived. How do I care for humans? How do I show my friends that they are made in the image of God? You know, I want you to, I want you to think about that. I was thinking about that today. That's one of your community group questions. Is how can I show the image of God, bear the image of God to the people that God has put me around? And what, what a blessing it is. Like, if we really, and I know I get so distracted, guys, sometimes by these lights and these buildings that we're in. It's like, it's, it's very distracting for me at times because it takes me away from the true beauty. So I'm an ocean girl, right? When I'm on the beach, I, f- I see God's beauty. And obviously I see it here in this beautiful dark room. But I see it most when I'm looking at his creation being reminded, God, you are so big. But how are we showing other people how amazing and beautiful God is? Because if we're image bearers, we're reflecting God. And he calls us to not participate in darkness. Because when we choose the things that God doesn't want for us, we're like Eve. We're listening to the enemy try to take us away from all the beautiful things that God had for her. I mean, God literally promised her the whole world, that they were going to subdue the whole world. He was going to have hundreds and thousands and millions of people walking around the world, bearing his image. And like, what a perfect world that sounds like to me. But we have a choice, just like Eve. We can listen to the serpent. We can listen to the enemy. We can choose to live in the darkness, or we can choose to live in the, li- in the light. And, and we can choose to love people and show them Jesus. We can choose to bear his image.